Kitty, what about this burger? What? Is it burnt? Are you gonna fire me? <laughs> Make me live on the street with the other hobos? Kitty, let it go. I do not feel guilty. All right, I feel guilty. <laughs> Are things with you and hot donna? Well, if you heard about hot donna, then you heard that I'm not her boyfriend. The whole world heard that. Well, people in Canada heard it. Honey, Canadians don't matter. <laughs> what matters is that you and Donna are okay, right? I don't even know if we're okay. She's spending all her time at The Sound with Jerry Thunder. That reminds me of when I first started at the hospital. Your father was concerned that I was spending way too much time down there with all these handsome doctors. Mom, that's stupid. Doctors aren't important like DJs. <laughs> okay, well, the point is... Your dad started showing up at the hospital to mark his territory, and one of the doctors, who was getting a little fresh, got punched in the mouth. <laughs> Dad's so cool. <laughs> no, that wasn't cool. It was embarrassing. But you married him. Yes, but it was embarrassing. Still, you married him. Point is, you have to trust Donna. But Dad didn't trust you, and you married him. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I can't talk to you. Okay. I am here to withdraw my complaint about my overcooked burger. Uh-huh. Well, I don't think you can do that. Well, I think I can. Of course you can. The customer's always right. So, you'll give Earl his job back? Well, the fry cook burned off his finger this morning, so... Sure. By the way, don't have the fish sticks. We haven't found it. <laughs> you hear that, Earl? Got your job back. You can go to work. Wait, you mean right now? Well, Miss WKRP. Eric, what are you doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here, Donna. I'm here to say who's who and what's what to Jerry Thunder. Eric, you can't talk to Jerry. He's on the air. Oh, fine. Well, then I guess I'll just have to wait. But let me tell you something. I'll be fuming. <laughs> this is Jerry Thunder! Signing off, and I'll see you around. The sound. All right. Woo! Let's get Mr. Big FM Stud out here right now. Yeah, big time. Why are you being weird? Don, I'm gonna make a long story short. I'm here to kick a little DJ ass, so have a seat. <laughs> hey, Donna. And this must be the boyfriend, Eric. Hi, I'm Jerry Thunder. You're Jerry Thunder? <laughs> well, that's just great. <laughs> Check out Jerry Thunder! <laughs> hey, you kids. The night is young. You guys up for a game of Dungeons and Dragons? I'll let you be Mandar, the half-elf. Oh, well. Another time, perhaps. Good night. So, that's Jerry Thunder? You know, it really turns me off when you're so insecure like this. We've been together long enough where it's either you don't get it, or you don't trust me. No, Donna, I trust you. Well, then you don't get it. I finally have something that's really good in my life right now. And if you can't handle that, then we have a problem. So, Eric, do we have a problem? No, we do not have a problem. Okay, good. Because I broke my nail on a stick album. I didn't even get to meet Alice Cooper, and I am super pissed. Yeah, well, you know... You have a really cool job. Yeah, I do, don't I? <laughs> Mario Speedwagon's coming in next week. <laughs> I'm gonna see if they'll sign my boobs. <laughs> now we have a problem. <laughs> okay, suddenly you're face to face with the dragon of fear. No! I should have worn my gauntlet of ogre's strength. Dumb. Any ideas, Mandar? <laughs> well, there's my rod of cancellation, but it's chancy. Yeah. You know, a girl once promised to play with us, but she didn't show up. Cheer up, King Zentar the Great. Let's get out there and slay that dragon. <laughs>